Hello everyone, it is Frasmotica here. It's Saturday and so it's time for a review. So today I'll be reviewing the JVC XXHA FR201 headphones. These headphones are in-ear headphones or what some people might call earbuds. Being a fairly new set of headphones, they come with a remote and a mic on the right earphone cord and they cost roughly £25 here in the UK, $30 in the US. So without further ado, let's get to the review. The first thing you'll notice about these headphones is the build quality. Now, the first thing that you'll notice about these headphones is the build quality. And whilst these headphones look fairly good, considering the fact that if you take a look at these earbuds, they've gone, done a colossal job on making these earbuds incredibly tough. That piece right there is definitely not going to break. You then take a look at the cord. And why am I complaining about the cord? Right here I have a pair of previous generation JVC headphones. These are the HAFX1X headphones. They're from the same range as these ones that we're reviewing today. But if you look at the cord of this, it is extremely thick compared to these newer ones, and it looks a lot more robust. If we take a look at these side-by-side -side comparison photos, you can see that the newer JVC XXs have a much thinner cord when compared with the older ones. So it's more fragile, it's more delicate, and it's probably more prone to breaking. Now, like I said, there are a couple of places where this is not the case. For example, the connector jack. They're both gold-plated and they both have a rubber protector which is going to reduce the risk of the wire fraying. And as I mentioned before, the colossal job that they did on making sure the actual earbuds don't break. And I guess the last thing I can say about the build quality is talking about the central divider, which is the part of the headphone that splits off the single cord that goes into the device from the two cords that go into your ears. Now on the older generation JVCs, the FX1Xs, this central divider was very, very prevalent. It definitely wasn't prone to breaking. It's probably the toughest central divider I've ever seen. It sounds like I'm commentating on sports or something. As you can see right there, that is in no risk of breaking whatsoever. Then you take a look at the newer JVCs and you get this. That you, you can barely tell that apart from the actual cord. And then you take a look at the newer JVCs and you get that. You can barely tell it apart from the cord. So overall, I have to say the build quality on these new JVC XXs is good but it's not great. And now without further ado, let's move on to the sound quality of these headphones, which is definitely the most important thing about good headphones. Now right off the bat, you may be wondering why these things are called XXs, and the reason they're called XXs is because it stands for Extreme Explosives, and both beginning with an X, of course. And when they say Extreme Explosives, they mean that there is a lot of bass in these headphones, and there is. There is a lot of bass in these headphones because of something that JVC called extreme deep bass port. Now one issue that headphones do have with a lot of bass is that sometimes the bass will overpower the mid and high tones a little bit, but in this case it doesn't. All of the different tones are crisp and clear, no one sound gets on top of the other when you're listening to a song. Everything sounds just about right in terms of balance. And the reason I can justify this is because I was listening to Emerson, Lake and Palmer's Carnival 9 from their 1973 album Brain Salad Surgery, which explores pretty much all of the aforementioned tones. That song sounds friggin' good, normally, and it sounds friggin' amazing when you're listening to it through those. By the way, you should check out that ELP album, it's really, really good. Obviously, being just little headphones, they're not going to beat out the sound quality of proper studio over-ear headphones, except for Dr. Dre Beats. Who the f*** thinks that they sound good? But apart from that, I really don't have that many complaints about the sound quality. And last but not least, we move on to the accessories that come with these headphones. Now, as with every pair of earbuds, the earbuds have got to come with a selection of bud sizes. And with JVC XXs, they come in sizes of small, medium, and large. This customization feature means that these headphones are going to suit a wide range of ear sizes, whether your ears are like this, or like this, or, I don't know, sometimes like this. There are, there are people like that. Now, these earbud sizes are very easy to swap. For example, right here, I have got the large earbud that comes with the headphones, and right on here is the medium size, which fits my ear just fine, despite how much they stick out. So if I wanted to swap these, all I would need to do is peel this one off, absolutely no strings attached, apart from maybe this one, and then you just plop the other one right on. It is as easy as that, and there you've got your large earbud on. Now because they're so easy to take off, it also means that they're easy to wash without having to, you know, risk your electronics getting damaged because of water. They're easy to wash, and you'll probably need to wash them at some point. These earbuds are very, very comfortable. They seal the eardrum very, very well. They're made of silicon, so they're obviously not going to, uh, not going to feel too hard or too uncomfortable or too unpleasant in your ears and that's pretty much all I need to say about the earbuds. They're comfortable. And now last of all we come on to the little remote. Now this remote is intended for use with iPods, iPhones and iPads only. In fact you can only 
use them with an iPod, iPhone, or iPad. So Android users, these are probably not gonna be the headphones for you. Having said that, if you are an Apple user and you are getting a set of headphones and you want a good remote and mic, don't get these. Now I'm saying don't get these, not because of the mic, but because of the actual remote. I mean, the mic sounds a bit better than the stock mic that comes on an iPod or an iPhone. Here's a little comparison as to how the two microphones compare to each other. This is a test of the onboard iPod microphone. This is the test of the JVC XX microphone. It's good enough to make a decent phone call. It's not gonna be better than a, a, a blue snowball. Blue snowball is what I'm using to record my voice right now. Now the actual remote on this thing, it might as well not be there, if I'm gonna be frank. The, the biggest downside to this remote is the fact that it's only got one button on it. Now the reason it has one button on it is because JVC want you to use multiple button presses to register different commands on your device. If you want to pause the song while you're listening to it, you just press the button once, like that. If you want to go to the next track, you have to press it twice like that, really quickly. And then if you want to go to the previous track, you have to press it three times really quickly, like that. Now the downside to having multi-button presses like that is that there's gonna be a window of time in which it's going to allow you to press a button a second time and register that as a double press as opposed to two single presses. Now the problem with that and these headphones is the fact that that window of time is minuscule. I've pressed this button twice to skip to the next track as fast as I can, like that, and even faster maybe like that, and it still doesn't register it as a double tap, instead it registers it as a play pause tap, and then another play pause tap. If JVC had put a couple of buttons onto this, and say those two buttons were changing the volume as opposed to skipping tracks, then maybe they'd be a bit more useful, because then you'd only have to press it a single time. And what's more, I've pressed this thing three times to try to skip to the previous track, and it's sometimes not even registered any of those taps as anything, so... There you go, there's the remote for you. Don't get these for the remote. Don't. I will quickly mention that these earbuds do come with this so-called conversion cable, which all it is is a 3.5mm jack female to a 3.5mm jack male. And I genuinely have no idea why they bothered packaging this with the headphones, because the only functionality I see in it is doing this. Congratulations, you've extended your headphones by three inches. So this is a waste of time, JVC, don't bother. And so after all my thoughts on the JVC XXHAFR201 headphones, what do I think of them? Well, I am giving these headphones three and a half stars out of five. The sound quality is really good, but the accessories are kind of half-baked and the remote and mic is really lacklustre. But the sound quality alone should be a good reason to buy these. They cost £24.99 here in the UK and $30 in the US. But there you are, that is my review of the JVC XXHAFR201 headphones. If you have any ideas for what I could review next, please post it as a comment below this video or go to my channel and post it in the discussions tab. Well, that's it, thanks very much for watching everyone. If you're not currently, please click the subscribe button below this video and make sure you come back every Saturday and every Wednesday for new videos. So that's all I have to say and goodbye. I'll see you on Wednesday.